Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans says it had some issues with power that contributed again to significant and damaging street flooding in the city. Ashland Brothers is live uptown near South Claiborne and Nashville Avenues, where earlier today the roads were unrecognizable. Ashland. Well, Lee and Meg talk about a night and day difference, literally over by Earthline Academy earlier today. We had feet of water, but now it really has just shifted off to the shoulder of the road. And of course, now we also have most cars that have removed themselves from the neutral ground parking. But as you said earlier, what we saw this afternoon, my goodness, everything from thigh high waters hours after rain subsided to stalled cars stuck in areas that looked more like lakes than roads. Students wading through waters and cars getting towed from a muddy mess of a neutral ground that still exists. The New Orleans Sewage and Water Board issued a statement saying that its pumping capacity was quickly overwhelmed as some pumping stations recorded five to seven inches of rain during the storm. And for that reason, it explained it takes roughly five hours for three inches of rain to be drained and pumped out of the city, especially in those low lying areas. Now, the utility went on to say its power capacity during the storm was not optimal, citing issues with backup generators adding that the system needs 44 megawatts at peak demand to efficiently operate the city's drainage pumping stations, but had at most 40.5. I spoke with two roommates in the mid city area who say their garage flooded, but instead of getting worked up, they just grabbed their kayaks. He called me and then I rushed home immediately. I had the kayaks ready. Uh, this is like my fourth time kayaking down banks. The Bank Street Bayou. We've been asking people what they need from like the corner store, you know, and I'm considering like doing like a, like a, you know, like a Bank Street Rescue next time, you know what I mean? Like snacks, beers, whatever you want. And the general superintendent of the Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans says he's been in communication throughout the day with the Department of Public Works on issues related to surface drainage, especially right here on Claiborne near Ursuline Academy. And he tells Fox 8 DPW acknowledged those issues and will be investigating for drain line cleaning. Now we requested an on camera interview multiple times today with the Sewage and Water Board to ask them about today's weather event and the flooding that occurred heard, but we were not granted that request to answer our questions and yours. Reporting live in New Orleans, Ashland Brothers, Fox 8, Local First.